welcome back everyone. My name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. We're once again checking out the latest snapshot for Minecraft Java Caves and Cliffs update. This is the Minecraft Snapshot 21W18A. If you're new to my snapshot videos, it means 21 for the year, 2021. The W stands for week. We're currently in week 18 of 2021. So if you are just interested in the official changes, there is a change log down below, but I want to go through all this week's changes. Starting off with something simple. Infested blocks are no longer instantly destroyed. Instead, they have half the destroy time of their non-infested counterpart. So this change here is to do with all of these blocks being infested stone, infested cobblestone, infested stone brick, mossy, cracked, chiseled, and even deep slate. So these are all the infested ones, and these are the regular ones. So let me show you one by one. So this is just regular stone. I'm using a stone pick, and this is infested. So slight change. Ow. It is going to take you a little bit longer. These guys are also angry as well. Uh, let's break this. So this is regular stone brick versus infested so it's simply halved. Doesn't matter what one you are using. Oh, they're all angry now. But yeah, that's the main change. The next change in today's video is screaming goats will use their ram attack more often than other goats will. Now, goats will attack armor stands and mobs and players. But if you haven't heard the screaming goat, let me play the sounds for you. <coughs> I kid you not, those are the screaming goat sounds. So I just want to see if we can get one here. So if we just spawn in a bunch of them, one over here was actually... There you go, that one. That's a screaming one. So let's just grab ourselves a goat. They will basically attack more often. Uh, they're pretty fun to see in action. I'm just going to literally spawn in a bunch of these. Let's see if they start to attack things. Um, but basically, the change here is that the angry and screaming and disturbing goats will attack things more often and more frequently. Oh, there you go. You can see we have some, like, angry little goats over there. I I'm so looking forward to these being introduced to the game. So before we get into the new data pack that has been introduced, this is approximate or distribution for caves in Cliff's update still outlined as not final. This is caves and cliff snapshot slash beta fourth iteration. And it says before caves and cliffs. So you can see how ore distribution was previously, right? This is how Minecraft ore distribution has been in Minecraft literally forever. That's how we know it as, as Minecraft players. Now it says here reduced air exposure when an ore block is about to be placed. If it is exposed to air, then it has a certain chance of being skipped instead. So I think this is very, very similar in terms of generation to how the debris generate inside the nether. So let me kind of go over this a little bit more. So of course, keep an eye on this chart here. Redstone, let's, let's zoom in. Redstone, obviously red. You've got the diamond, the lapis, the copper, the iron, the emerald, the gold, and the coal. And this is where they are going to generate and how they are going to work. So all being your your iron ore, when the mountains are introduced, is going to have a chance to spawn between 128, which is the Y level, all the way to 256. Now, it's going to be the same for emeralds. It says it's only obviously going to generate in mountain biomes. It's always been that way. The higher you go for a mountain, 
is the more chance you are going to get of getting uh, emeralds. We we'll go a little bit further down here. So this is going to be the ore distribution for copper. Copper is going to generate between 0 to 96. It is going to be more common here. So you see how this is like, it, it's like a, a sideways triangle. It's quite thick here and here. So you're going to have better chances of finding copper between 32 and let's say 64. The further we go down, redstone distribution seems to be very similar to the old generation, but redstone is going to generate of uh, starting at 16, going all the way down to negative 64. It's going to be a lot common, a lot more common at negative 64. It also says diamonds will be a lot more common at negative 64, but can still be found around here, which is looking like regular levels. So I'm guessing like 40, I know it says 16 there, but there's a little bit of a tip right there and I can't zoom in anymore. So I'm guessing it's going to start at the current level levels, but also the further you go down, the more common diamonds can become. It also says here for this one is that smaller blobs in terms of generation. It also says here reduced air exposure of diamonds. This is lapis. Very, very common around level zero and can generate between negative 32, oops, did not mean to do that, can generate between negative 32 and 32 as well. So there's a lot more to learn about this and coal. Coal is going to generate really high up and pretty much be everywhere. But one thing you need to remember, guys, is you're not going to be able to get coal all the way down here. So between negative 64 and zero, you will not find coal. And the whole point of this is that you go low for specific ores, but also go high at the same time. It is not final. I imagine it'll still be tweaked, but this is a really, really good thing. Looks like iron is going to generate high, high up and also uh, quite low as well, being very, very common around level 16. Again, not final. So in this specific world, we do have a new data pack installed. If you guys want to check it out, there's a download below. It's free. It's easy as dragging it into your data pack file and it's, it's good to go. So uh, although Minecraft developers are mainly focusing on 1.17 and that being released in summer, what I'm about to show you is more likely 1.18 features and will be introduced at the end. What up, bro? Reduced copper spawning a bit to compensate for large ore veins. The next change, large ore veins are slightly more rare and slightly smaller on average, but the size varies a lot so you can still find huge ones. The next one, increase the chances of finding raw ore blocks in ore veins. So let's say you're just mining gold like this. You now have the increased chance to find these, basically the bean blocks, which I actually didn't realize. So you're gonna be able to find these as well as get these. I think that's a really nice touch. Definitely something I wasn't expecting to be introduced to Minecraft, but if you're, uh, if you're mining, you now have the chance of finding raw copper, gold, and even iron, AKA the bean block. Cave carvers generate below Y0 in ocean biomes. They didn't before, it was an accident. Increased the minimum size of noodle caves and carvers to make them easier to traverse and less likely to break up into fragments. So this is like the perfect example. So last week, like you had to mine your way all the way down here. They made these noodle caves a little bit bigger so players can actually fit around them. They're easy to traverse. They all seem to like interlink. You're not having to constantly break blocks in order to get down them. Um, so again, cave generation constantly being tweaked, constantly being changed. And I would be expecting that to happen over the next couple of months. And I need to get out of here. Noodle caves no longer generate above Y level 30. So the surface should be less riddled with holes. And I've noticed this since like the early stages of caves and cliffs. Like you'd find, let's say like a place like this, and it'd be like a big slit going all the way down to the new caves. So for this change, noodle caves now only generate between Y level 13. If we go to spectator mode and we turn on the F3 mode, let's get down to about level 30, which is about here you'll start seeing noodle caves start to generate. And, and that is literally the perfect example right here. What's, what level is this one at? This one's at like level 29. So 29, 30, it's, it's level 30 in my eyes. So you're gonna see less 
crazy carved holes um, in in on the overworld on, on level 64, uh, which is a pretty good change because that it didn't really look that good. It did at the start, but then over time I realized that the generation wasn't that good. So the main generation is going to start to happen around level 30. Simple change, removed deep slate blobs around... That's not yo, that is Y level zero. Um, so you're less likely to see these things. Extended the vertical range of the smaller blobs of iron ore to make it possible to find iron in caves near the surface. And the last updated change in this week's data pack is slightly reduced the amount of normal sized iron blobs to compensate for large ore veins and the increased range of smaller blobs. I do have a video here from the developers now showing how ore generation is. Getting into everyone's favorite bug fixes within 21W18A. Fixed last use of an anvil causing player to drop their items. Adventure mode players can extinguish candles has now been fixed. No burning sound for items burning in lava cauldrons. So now they do make sounds. As you can clearly hear right there. Other changes. Spore blossoms can be used to breathe underwater, cannot be waterlogged. I can confirm they can now be waterlogged and read the change log. So here are the bug fixes within this update. If you want to read them in a little bit more detail, there is a change log down below. But honestly, this really isn't a big snapshot and I don't expect them to be any bigger than this going over the next couple of weeks because they're now aiming to release 1.17. So yeah, another week, another snapshot, a, another small snapshot might I add. My favorite change is definitely to the goats, the infested, and I'm starting to appreciate the world generation a lot more via the latest data pack. So yeah, have a great day, stay beautiful, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Goodbye.